Hi everyone, welcome finally to my first uh, declutter video ever and of 2020. So when the new year started, I decided that I do finally need to go through my collection, get rid of a bunch of things, decide what I really want to hold on to and let go of the rest. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're going to start with lipsticks. Um, I contemplated doing just all lip products, but there's just way too much, so I'm going to break them down. And the first thing I will do, because it seems pretty straightforward to tackle, are lipsticks. These can be all kinds of lipsticks, whether they are full coverage, matte, balmy, uh, but as long as they are pretty much in this standard lipstick form, I've included them in this category. And it is cold and rainy outside, so I am still in my PJs, in my really warm socks. Um, so it's kind of a perfect time to clean the house, go through things, and really simplify um, life and not hold on to things that we don't need to hold on to. So I encourage you to do the same if the fact that you have so much stuff kind of gives you anxiety or you just want to simplify things. This is a nice way to start. So a few caveats before we start. First, just because I make a decision to hold onto something doesn't mean it's the right way to decide how to do this kind of thing. I have a pretty high tolerance when it comes to holding on to makeup that otherwise is expired or where the general recommendation would be to throw something away. Um, in order to be safe and healthy, you should probably follow those kinds of guidelines. Um, to keep or to throw away something that is six months old or a year old. Just for my personal decision making, I don't really follow those kinds of standards. I go by more discoloration, how old I know the product is, if it smells funky, etc. Uh, that doesn't mean that those are the rules or the guidelines that you should follow. Second, the things that I'm going to get rid of, um, when possible, I'm going to put them in a pile to give away, whether that's giving away them, uh, giving them away to friends, whether that's uh, giving them away to um, women's shelters that allow you to give um, gently used products or new products. Then the third pile or category will be things to get rid of. Um, so I am hopefully going to be able to recycle as much as possible and I encourage you to do the same thing. TerraCycle, for example, is a very good resource for recycling cosmetics or skincare packaging. So I also encourage you when at all possible to, of course, not just throw away all this plastic and contribute to the waste to recycle when possible. And fourth, just to be clear, the things that I'm going through are from my personal collection. So there are a lot of items that you'll see on my channel that I will, for example, put in piles for giveaways. I'm not including that in my declutter because that's not part of my personal collection that I would use. I'm focusing more on things that I have kept for my own personal use, but obviously I, I cannot go through or use this makeup in a multiple lifetimes. So that's one of the main driving forces of trying to reduce waste and um, not have so much stuff around. All right, let's start by dumping all of this out. I'm going to count how many lipsticks we start with so that I can compare what I end up with. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and count. Okay, so if I counted correctly, there's 137 lipsticks here. Obviously, that is ridiculous. I mean, that's true for my entire makeup collection. Uh, being someone who reviews makeup and has been doing so for, I don't know, a decade now or so, obviously my collection is not practical in any sense of the word. And even after decluttering, it never will be. Um, that's just a reality. It is kind of conflicting to know that it is quite wasteful um, to be doing something like this where you have so much product. Um, and I guess the best anyone can really do is to try to reduce that wastefulness, minimize that wastefulness. So that's where things like making sure you recycle, trying to give away things that you're not using that other people could use or need, um, that's where those kinds of things come in. So what am I going to do? How am I going to approach this? Um, this is actually really kind of overwhelming. Um, let me start with maybe some newer 
ones that I have just added to my collection that I know I will want because I've just been using them recently and the very reason I put them in my collection is because I am currently enjoying them and liking these specific colors. Okay, so these are easy decisions to keep. These are five shades in the Revlon Super Lustrous line. I'll put in the upper right hand corner for you to see if you want to see swatches of the colors in the entire line. Uh, but these are five shades that I know in particular I like for my skin tone and my skin type. The colors I am keeping are going to be 04 Cherries in the Snow, 03 Glossed Up Rose, 02 Nude Illuminator, 08 Rum Raisin and 07 Glazed Mauve. These have a beautiful kind of gloss-like, balm-like texture to them that are very pleasant to wear. So I really like this formula. And you might be able to hear my little pup barking downstairs throughout this video. Um, another couple of lipsticks that are easy for me to decide to keep are these two from NARS. They are two of the Afterglow lip balms. And maybe I should have put this in one of the balm videos, but in any case, I haven't opened these or used them at all. So of course I am going to hold on to these. Here are two shades of Lancome lipsticks. These are the L'Absolute Rouge Chromas from one of their more recent, I think, spring collections. And they pop open like this, which is kind of cool. These are unswatched and unused. So I am probably going to put these in a giveaway or pass these off to friends. Yeah, both of these are unused. Here's another one from ColourPop, one of their Lux lipsticks that I don't believe I have used at all. Oh, actually I have swatched this. Okay, so this is in the shade 21 Questions. This is a kind of rusty, very warm toned, um, reddish nude shade. It's not a shade that I particularly enjoy on my skin. So I am going to probably try to see if someone else will want this color. Here is a Dior Addict Lacquer lipstick in the shade 577 Lazy. Beautiful packaging. This one I've also swatched or used. This has more of a balmy shine consistency in a kind of violet um, purplish shade. I still don't know how often I would wear this particular color. So again, I'm gonna see if a friend would like this. I guess I'll go through all the things that are still in boxes. This is one um, lipstick or the Badass Icon Matte Lipsticks from Uma Beauty in the shade Coretta. Love this white packaging here. Okay, this is also a kind of more nude, mauve pink, um, not nude, I don't know why I said nude. This is more of a mauve pink shade with a matte finish. Um, let's put this in the maybe pile. Let's see how many other colors I have that are similar to this before I decide what to do with it. One of Pat McGrath's lipsticks. This is in the shade Beautiful Creature. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Ooh, I really like this color. It's a deep berry mauve shade. I'm gonna keep this. Obviously, part of that motivation is how expensive this is, so I need to start using this regularly. Okay, and the last two lipsticks that are in their packaging or box still are both from MAC. One is in the shade Babe Town. This looks like a cream sheen, like a nude cream sheen. So, probably will use this. I'll keep this shade. This other one is from a collection from many years ago. Um, it's in the shade Thrills. It has seashell inspired packaging. And actually this is not used. It's brand new. So I am going to not swatch this for you and I will be keeping it. It's a frost finish lipstick. Another pair that I know I'm gonna keep, these are from Physicians Formula. They are their Mur Mur Butter lipsticks. I'm going to keep them there in the shade Pinkini and Acai Berry. They're relatively new and I specifically kept these two shades. A, because I love the formula and I love these two specific colors. This Revlon lipstick is really old. It's in the shade Cupcake. It's their, one of their color burst lip butters. Don't even think they sell this line anymore. It's a very sheer, very um, 
kind of like lavendery pink glossy lip surprisingly it doesn't smell off at all um, I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile it's not something that I would typically wear but it is the kind of color that I might want for a specific type of look okay I zoomed you in a little bit this is a Maybelline lipstick color in vivid rose still smells like that typical Maybelline lipstick fragrance it's a very vibrant, super bright um, magenta-y color. So I'm gonna keep that because it's hard to find a color like this. But let's compare it to this Milani Matte Diva lipstick shade, because I don't need to duplicate any of these. So another super bright neon -y pink color with a matte finish. Two more from that kind of Maybelline line of neons. This one is in the shade Pink Pop. And this is an orange shade in Electric Orange. So although these are not shades that I would typically use, um, they are kind of unique and hard to replicate from other things in my collection, so I will probably keep these shades. Here's another super bright shade. This is the Manlani Matte Orchid shade. So I think both of these were Milani. This one is deeper, this one is brighter. I think I'll get rid of this one. I'm more likely to use this deeper shade here. So I think that brighter shade was, yeah, was Matte Diva. Get rid of this color. These are some L'Oreal lipsticks. And again, these are slightly more recent. So I know that I want to keep these. Um, there's two shades from the kind of mature line of makeup that L'Oreal released, the Age Perfect line. So I have the shade 102 Bright Mocha and 210 Soft Mauve. And two shades from their Color Reach Shine line, uh, Burnished Blush and Varnished Rosewood. I'm keeping those two. All right, let's take a look at some drugstore lipsticks that appear to be in the general nude color family. So let's start with these since they're the same collection. These are from Maybelline and we have a couple of reds and a couple of nudes. I think these are the Color Sensational Mattes. So this first shade here, ooh, you can see there's some sort of crystallization. Can you see that on there? Now, a lot of people are, will say, oh, that's mold. I don't know if it's mold or crystallization. The lipstick definitely doesn't smell strange, but let's go ahead and swatch it. This is the shade 685 Craving Coral. Seems to swatch a little strangely. So I'm gonna throw this away just to be safe. And then I opened up 690, the shade Siren in Scarlet, but the bullet is just completely um, smashed and had fallen into the cap here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this packaging and throw the rest away and we have 660 touch of spice and this also seems to have that weird crystallization on there goes on very smoothly but i'm sure that i have lipsticks in similar colors i'm gonna again throw this out and 695 divine wine has that same stuff on the bullet slightly deeper shade but I'm also gonna throw them out just in case they are bad. Another couple of Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks, but these are in more shimmering shades. This is 715 Luminous Lilac. Not sure why, I definitely don't wear these kinds of shades now, like these like sheer shimmering lipstick shades. So I'm gonna Toss that out from my collection. The next one is 7:30 Coral Gleam. I actually used a lot of this up, but I was using it just to try to use it up, not because I enjoy this shimmering finish. So again, I'm gonna get rid of this. Another Maybelline shade in Totally Toffee. Again, it's pretty old. I don't tend to use these more blinked out nudes, so. I'm gonna get rid of this also. And another Maybelline lipstick shade in the color Blushing Beige. 
This is also very old. And again, I don't wear these kind of blinked out nudes. So not going to keep this. This Maybelline shade is in Going Grage. And their bold line. This is very, very creamy and very unique. Again, I don't wear this kind of shade typically, but I'll keep it just because it is very unique and I may want it for a particular kind of look. We've got two Cover Gold lipsticks. I really liked this line when it came out. Um, the first shade we have is Darling. Pretty standard pink shade. I'm gonna keep this one. And Sultry. More of a nude. Also going to keep that one. I really like this formula. We have another Maybelline. We have another Milani shade in Nude. Oh, I really don't like the smell on this. It has a fragrance that's been added to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the giveaway or pass along pile because the color isn't unique enough for me to keep it and I don't like the scent. An NYC lipstick in the shade Smooch 446. This is a lighter pink color. This is super old, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this color. Another really old <laughs> product, this is from P2. This is um, like a European or I think German company, drugstore company. Um, the shade is Sunset Boulevard. It is a very, very pretty shade and slides on really nicely over the skin. Doesn't smell um, off at all, so I'll put this in the maybe pile. Okay, these are the last remaining drugstore lipsticks, so I'm gonna go through those. This is from CoverGirl from the Katy Perry collection. The shade is Kitty Purry. I do really like this shade, so I'm gonna keep this one. An old school lipstick from Milani in the shade Mandarina. This is a bright orange shade. It's very unique, so I'm also going to keep that one. This is a Rimmel lipstick, one from the Kate line in the shade 113. I, again, I don't know why I have this. I don't wear these really blinked out um, colors, but I guess I'm going to put this in the maybe pile again because if I do need a blinked out lip for some sort of reason, like a Halloween look or just something special, I may want access to something like this. And two Iman lipsticks. Um, you don't really see this brand talked about anymore, but these are the shades Scandalous and Kinky Pink. Ooh, wow, that is crazy pigmented. Yeah, same with this shade. Wow, that is incredible. Um, I'm gonna keep these in the maybe pile. And then this pile is miscellaneous brand, not miscellaneous brands, but brands where I have lipsticks, but I don't have that many in that particular brand. So this is an Illamasqua lipstick in the shade Test. Nudie pink shade. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. One of Misha's lipsticks. This is in the shade SCR304. So this is more of a balmy peachy shade. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Another Woma lipstick, Black Magic, in the shade On Fire. Now this is one of their glitter encrusted lipsticks. Not something that I would typically wear. Again, it would be very special occasion-y, so I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. Two Lime Crime lipsticks, old school ones. From left to right, the shades are Centrifugia. Man, these are really old school and retro futurist. Very pretty colors, very pigmented. Don't glide on the most effortlessly. Having a hard time. I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile. At the end of the video, we'll probably have to go through the entire maybe pile to sort these out. Two more Illamasqua lipsticks. Uh, we have on the left here, Starkers, and on the right, Flare. Ooh, uh-oh, Flare is loose there, not in the tube anymore. And then Starkers. Ooh, that's a... Kind of the unique beigey kind of nude. I'll probably keep that one. 
but this Milani one in the shade Mandarina that I put in the Keep pile, I just want to compare that. Okay, so not quite the same tone or finish, so I might keep both of those, the La Masca one and the Milani one. Then I have two Tarte lipsticks. This is an orange one, so let's go ahead and swatch them next to these other two orange ones, see if I can get rid of them. This one is in the shame, shade Timeless. This is from their Glamazon line. Yeah, so it's more of a coral red-orange shade. I'm gonna keep that. And then this one is in the shade Pure. It's a nice nudie shade. I like the formula because it glides on and it's pretty moisturizing, so I'll probably keep that one. All right, we've got one lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. Ooh, this looks really bizarre. I don't know what that is on the side there. This is in the shade 19... 95. I'm gonna get rid of that one. We have a Becca Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Josephine. This is one of the ultra ultimate matte lip colors. This is reminds me of kind of the color pop color, <laughs> color pop blotted lips. It's like more of a sheer. Uh, intense red, so I think I'll hold on to this one. One of, I think it's pronounced J-G-A-D-E Cosmetics' lipsticks in the shade Rosy Glow. This is newer and I did really like this formula and color, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. Two lipsticks from the company Addiction, uh, 05 Revenge and 10 Sensually. So Revenge... There's that one, very nice corally shade, and sensually is a shimmering, really pale silver. Normally I don't, like I said, like lipsticks like this. I'm gonna keep this just to get that effect if I want it for a particular look. There's this really small lipstick from Avita in Canna. That's the shade. Wow, that's very intensely pigmented, but I don't realistically see myself uh, grabbing for this, so I'm gonna pass it on or throw it away. A lipstick from Senna Cosmetics, another company you don't hear that much about. This is their cream lipstick in Beautiful Bronze. This is a glittery, bronzy lipstick. Again, very beautiful, but not something that I would personally use, so I'm going to um, probably throw it away or pass it along. Got a lipstick from Elizabeth Arden. This is in Red Diamond. And this is a shimmering, actually this is like a shimmering pinky red shade. Again, not something I typically use, but it's very unique, so I'm going to keep that. Something I might wear for the holidays. This one is a uh, Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade 120 Desirable. This is a, ooh, it's bending in the tube, no. This is a lighter pink, uh, nudie pink shade. I'm going to keep that. I really like the formula. And another Elizabeth Arden lipstick. This is in the shade uh, Rouge, Rouge 01. Wow, such an intense red. The formula is fantastic on these. I know no one really talks about Elizabeth Arden, but probably gonna keep this one too. All right, next up, I'm going to go through my NARS lipsticks. So let's start with these ones in the more matte packaging and then some of those a couple of those are from the Steven Steven Klein collection I don't even remember <laughs> this collection um, ooh okay so these are both nudie shades uh, we have redemption which is a more metallic color okay this one might be something I would use as a topper in the summer, so I'll probably keep this. And this one's kind of half melted in there already. This is Besame Mucho. Interesting. This is a deeper nudie shade. I would never really wear this color. Um, I would pass this along, but it's so damaged in the tube that I wouldn't want to pass it along to someone. So unfortunately, I'm probably am going to recycle this one. Shade Goodbye Emmanuel. Ooh, this is a really bright pink shade, future red, very pigmented 
bright blue based red, last tango, it's more of a nude, short circuit. This is more of actually like a muted tangerine orange. Full frontal. So this is more of a purple based shade. So I think realistically, I love these kind of purpley colors, but I probably won't end up wearing that. And same with this brighter pink. So I'm going to get rid of these two shades and they're in good condition. So I'll try to see if someone else wants them. And then this formula of lipsticks, these are the audacious lipsticks. I absolutely love this formula. So I'll probably keep all of these. Um, let me just quickly look through the shades to make sure I don't have anything in here that I just absolutely wouldn't wear in terms of color and to make sure they're not moldy or anything like that. But yeah, there's, this is one of my all time favorite formulas. So I'll definitely be keeping these. All right, so the only ones left are my MAC lipsticks and I've divided them into uh, more standard ones. These two in skinnier tubes, this pile, which is a special edition or limited edition collection ones. And then these, which have more of a glossy balm finish. I'm gonna go through these kind of non-standard groups first and then we'll go through this pile. So let's start with the special edition packaging ones. Uh, this one is in the shade Hibiscus. Huh, I don't actually think I'll use this shade very much. So I'm gonna pass this shade along. More recent lipstick. Uh, this is Let's Mesa Around. I'm gonna keep this shade. I have two of my Viva Glam lipsticks, which I probably will not be letting go of. I have Viva Glam Gaga and Viva Glam Cindy. So Gaga's is this super pale, bright pink. I actually will not use this shade a lot on myself, but just to support the Viva Glam line, I'm gonna keep this. And actually, let me compare. Remember before this um, Revlon, what is this color burst lip butter? I wanna see how close this shade is. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the lip butter. They're not dupes in terms of colors, but they're close enough. So I'll have the Viva Glam one if I really want a pale shade like this. Actually, my Viva Glam Cindy is new, so I'm definitely gonna keep that one. Okay, then we have the shade Sunset Rose, again, from a pretty recent collection. This has a little bit of shimmer in it, so I'm gonna keep that. Don't have many finishes like that. Two of the Wonder Woman lipsticks, so you know it's old but this is Marquis de... Ooh, also kind of a subtly shimmering lipstick uh, finish. It's pretty old, but I'm gonna keep that. And then the shade uh, Spitfire. actually gonna put this in the maybe pile. And then one of the Marilyn Monroe shades in Love Goddess. Probably gonna keep this shade. And then these skinny MAC lipsticks. One of them is the Slim Shine lipstick in the shade Bare. Ooh, it looks pretty gnarly. Oh my gosh, look at that. It just completely came off of the tube there. All right, well, I know it's a very creamy formula. Gotta be careful. Ugh. I don't know. Can't even re I can't remember if it was always this gloopy out of the tube. Yeah, I just don't even think this is gonna be functional, even though I really like the color. So this is gonna get back to mac -ed. Oh, so that's the other thing. Uh, if you're not gonna recycle or throw it in the trash, then for the MAC stuff, you can always back to MAC it, which is take six empty lipstick or eyeshadow containers um, or skincare or pretty much anything that comes in plastic containers. If you have six of them, you can take them back to MAC and exchange them for a standard eyeshadow or lipstick. And this one is a Mateen lipstick in Naked Bliss. Um, it goes on very smoothly, so for a matte lipstick, I'll probably keep that one as a lighter nude. Okay, now these category of lipsticks, most of them are the Sheen Supreme line of lipsticks. And I know I like this kind of more balmy formula, so I'm just gonna do a visual check 
on colors that I... Mm, look at this shade. This shade is the Behave Yourself shade. This is like the Revlon Balm one. Oh, those are pretty similar. Okay. So again, not quite as purpley, but definitely going to keep the one from MAC and not the one from Revlon. This is the shade Insanely It. Don't actually know that I would wear this shade in this formula just because it moves so much more. So I'm probably going to back to MAC this. Bear again. Going to keep that one. I don't actually, I can't read the name of this. It looks like Impair, maybe Imperative. Deeper Nude, Supreme Style, Lighter Nude, Blossom Culture, more of the coral. And then this one is one of the mineralized rich shades in Rare Breed. I think this was from the Felines collection. Probably keep all those. All right, so the last pile we have are the regular packaging MAC lipsticks. What I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna sort these into color families so that I can whittle down um, repeat or similar shades. Okay, I split these up into color categories and I'm really surprised. I literally have only one shade, one MAC lipstick shade with like a kind of red, like a traditional red category. And that's this color in uh, the Pearl Longwear line lip cream. I don't even know what the name is. Starts with a P, ends with a G. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep that color. Beautiful red color. And then this also didn't really fit into the other color families. This is one of the Huggable Lip Colors out for Passion. Should have included that with the other cream shades. Probably going to keep this one too. And then another skinny one that I had missed. This is one of the Mattine lipsticks in Deliciously Forbidden. Now, even though it's a skinny lipstick, it's more in the kind of mauve purpley category. So I'll start off with this color and go with the rest of the purpley shades. So these are the ones that I put in that color family. This is Lavender Whip. These are all the shades that have more of a purple tone. This is obviously a lighter lavendery tone. Wouldn't wear this much, but I'm gonna keep it just because it's so unique. This is the shade Heavenly Hybrid. Snapdragon. Aristocat. Creme de la Femme. Rivening Rose. Hellraiser. One of these really glittery lipsticks. Playtime. And Plumful. So I'm going to back to MAC or get rid of Lavender Whip, Aristocat. Very unique color, but I'm just not realistically going to use it. Hellraiser, which is incredibly beautiful with all that glitter, but I've kept it around many times thinking, you know, I'll use it as a top coat. It's so unique but I just don't use it. So there's no point in keeping it. And playtime, again, just not gonna get that much use out of it. Okay, next up we're gonna do pinks, loosely pink shades. This one I don't even have the name of anymore. So I don't actually know what the shade name is on this one. This next one is Saint Germain, classic MAC shade. Next is Oat Altitude, Oat, no, Oat, yeah, Oat Altitude. Oat Altitude. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. Sweet Experience. Ahoy there. Mer. Or Mare. Sunny Soul. And Playing Koi. All right, this category is gonna be pretty difficult because these are all very wearable shades. I think I'm gonna get rid of Saint Germain for sure and uh, probably gonna keep the rest because there are shades that I would actually wear. Actually, I'll get rid of the first two. Um, first one's not unique enough for me to keep. And then this next category is deeper mauve reds. This first one is Runaway Red. Beautiful color, Hearts Aflame. 
Opre Chic. And this is a Pro Longwear shade in Soft Shell. And last up is one of a kind. Again, shades that I would very typically wear. I think I'll get rid of the last one, which is one of a kind. And dipping back into my maybe piles, the one from P2, the shade Sunset Boulevard. Mm, doesn't quite match the other one, so we'll keep it as a maybe for now. And then the Woma shade in Coretta. Again, doesn't quite match the other shade. So again, we'll keep it in the maybe pile. All right, let's move on to nudes. We're getting close. This is the shade Lush Amber. Yep, Lush Amber. The Fairy Glen. Myself. Growing Trend. Ugh. Is this really what this color looked like at first? Wow, that is a sickly color, at least on my lips, not on everyone's, but on my skin. Mill, M-L-L-E or May, I don't, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Oh, that's more just like a really pale pink. Spice, Deeper Nude, Creme de Nude, another classic MAC shade, and Quiet Please. Metallic nude. And then from the maybe pile, I'm gonna pull back in the In Lamasca shade in Test. And the Rimmel shade in 113. So I'm going to get rid of Lush Amber, Growing Trend, this MLLE color, and Spice. Oh, and also the last Rimmel shade. And the last two color categories are the kind of brighter pinky shades and my corally peachy shades. So we're gonna start with the shade Show Orchid, Red Balloon, Happy Go Lucky, and Candy Yum Yum. Now I'm gonna dip back into my maybe pile and compare some of these because I feel like a lot of them are kind of in the same maybe color category. So Lime Crime Centrifugia. Retrofuturist is more of a red, so I won't compare that one. Fitfire, it's more of a deeper purple. But then these neon -y colors from Maybelline. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. I feel like we've seen that with other lipsticks. Vivid Rose. Also going to get rid of that one and this orange shade. I'm going to go to the end and compare all the oranges. Matte Orchid from Milani. I feel like we're getting similar colors there, so I'll get rid of that one. So the MAC ones, I'm going to get rid of Candy Yum Yum. And then for my peachy corals, we're going to start with Razzle Dazzler. Toying Around. Oh, that one reminds me a lot of the Misha one, but maybe I'm remem remembering incorrectly. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ever Hip. Oh, that one's pretty similar to the Misha one. Okay, I'm going to keep Ever Hip and get rid of the Misha one because this one has a little more staying power. Lollipop Loving. It's a shimmering shade. And Real Sexy. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these other than the Misha one that I got rid of. My arm is so stained with swatches. But anyway, I should have kept track of the orange shades. Of course I didn't. So I went back through the pile. I think I gathered them all. So let's go ahead and see if I can get rid of any duplicates. Illamasca's Flare. Tarte's Timeless. I don't know if those were in frame, but this is uh, Illamasca's Flare. Tarte's Timeless. Maybelline's Electric Orange. Milani's Mandarina, Nars's Short Circuit. 
So I'm gonna get rid of the Maybelline shade in Electric Orange and the Milani one in Mandarina. All right, so here is the pile of lipsticks that I am either going to back to MAC or recycle, hopefully, or if I can't do that, then unfortunately throw them away or give them away. Um, so let's go ahead and count. So it looks like there are 46 lipsticks that I am getting rid of. I can't even remember what I started out with. Did we start out with 137? If we did, then I have 91 or somewhere in the range of 90 lipsticks left. That is still an incredibly ridiculous number of lipsticks, but you know, small steps, trying to whittle it down. Um, hopefully next year I'll do another declutter and further get rid of things that I don't need and that other people can enjoy more. But for now, there is your first decluttering session. I hope that you enjoyed. If you want to see more of these, I mean, there are like an infinite number of these that I can do with so many categories of makeup. So if this is something you enjoy, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, please leave a comment in the section below, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Obviously, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.